When R. Kelly won an acquittal on child pornography charges back in 2008, he was guilty as hell, according to the lawyer who defended him back then. The lawyer, Ed Jensen, says he was so convinced of Kelly's guilt, he made him take drugs to suppress his sex drive before the trial. He was guilty as hell. I'll tell you a secret. I had him go to a doctor to get libido killing shots. That's why he didn't get arrested for anything else. Jensen is now 77 and gravely ill. He spoke to Chicago Sun-Times reporter Neil Steinberg. He was basically dying and wanted to talk to someone. And I prompted him. I said, guilty as hell? And he said, yeah, he was guilty as hell. People betrayed me and I keep forgiving them. There are more shocking moments from Gail King's now famous interview with Kelly. Watch what happened when the CBS This Morning host asked him about his former girlfriend, Dominique Gardner. She and her mother were featured in the documentary Surviving R. Kelly. She had to rescue her daughter. Huh? That she rescue? Had, oh, yeah, she really? said she had to rescue her daughter. Okay. Yes. Be careful, Gail. And that Dominique was held Gail, against her will. Be careful. No, I'm just telling you that these are the no, allegations. But you're not just telling me this. You're saying this, Gail. You're breaking my heart. You're saying it's like you believe it. Michael Avenatti, the attorney for the family of current right, girlfriend Azriel Clary, claims right. Kelly had a suicide pact with a number of women. Prior victims of Mr. Kelly have independently told me within the last two weeks that there was a suicide pact that existed when they were in his inner circle. Namely, that if Mr. Kelly told them to take their lives, they would have done it. Gail King appeared on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert last night, talking about Kelly's shocking meltdown. It became very troubling to me to see him really just fall apart. I thought we were witnessing the self-destruction of a man having a breakdown, and that's never a good thing to see, never.